All right, so a new update for Cyberpunk just launched and you can see here in the bottom left hand corner, we've got version 2.2.1 and what this update introduced is a transformer model for DLSS, updated frame generation and um, updated ray reconstruction, right? So first we're just going to have a look whether there's actually a difference in performance when it comes to the convolutional neural network, which is the old DLSS and the new transformer model, right? And for that, we are currently at 4K and I'm just on the high preset, except for we've got DLSS enabled and uh, I do have a bunch of these post-processing effects disabled just for visuals. All right, so if we have a look at, I'm standing here in a spot where we are actually GPU bound we are getting 160-ish frames per second. So I'm going to scroll through the different DLSS uh, presets here, DLSS uh, quality, balance, and performance with both the convolutional neural network and the transformer model, right? So currently DLSS quality, 160 frames per second. And if we go to the transformer model, let's just have a look. We are seeing a little bit of a decrease to our frame rate here. So we went from around 160 something to around 150 frames per second, right? But we should get better visuals. Now I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm really not that good when it comes to testing before testing image quality differences. You'll have to wait for somebody like TerraWare or maybe Digital Foundry to do an image quality comparison here for us. But let's have a look at DLSS balanced here on the convolutional neural network, neural network, sorry, 178, 180 frames per second. And then if we change it to transformer model, let's just have a look. We are getting 165, one, but run 165 frames per second, right? So also still a slight decrease in the performance, but this was to be expected, right? A lot of people were claiming around 5% performance uh, reduction. So if we test CNN at performance, all right, so with DLSS performance here, we are getting more or less the same as what we did at balance, right? But we are now starting to become a little bit more CPU bound. You can see our GPU usage is sitting at 82% in the top left hand corner, 174, 100, well, let's call it 175 frames per second. And then if we change over to the transformer model, let's have a look. Because we are CPU bound, it seems like we actually got a bit of a performance boost here. You can see that our GPU usage went up and also our frame rate is slightly higher, around five, six, seven frames per second. So it does seem like when you are more CPU bound, the new transformer model actually helps a little bit more in that case, because we were seeing a, a lower frame rate when we were using the CNN model compared to the uh, transformer model when we were CPU bound. All right, another thing they said improved is frame generation. So we'll test that now. I'm just going to test the CNN model on performance again, just going to get a base frame rate again. So one, 175 frames per second, right? And uh, then we'll just enable frame generation and uh, restart the game. All right, so I just restarted and we're getting 265 frames per second here. So a very decent <laughs> boost to our frame rate there, 265. And if we then just have a look at transformer model, still using the exact same settings, still as this frame generation on performance, we are getting slightly less. All right, so the transformer model does seem to impact performance slightly, but really not that much. And we'll have to wait and see for somebody a little bit more competent to actually see if there's a difference, uh, or what the difference in visual quality is. From what I could see, just uh, driving Johnny's Porsche, the rear windshield, the lines, they do look a lot more clean. Anyway, but I, as I said, I'm not really good with uh, identifying stuff like that. So let's just try this at 1440p again. I'm not going to resize the frame rate uh, counter. So we'll we'll do the exact same tests here. We'll just disable DLSS and uh, or frame generation. We'll restart the game. And then we'll do the same tests here with the CNN model on DLSS quality all the way through to performance. The same with the transformer model. All right, so here we are and we're getting 180 frames per second, but we are very CPU bound, right? DLSS set to quality using the CNN model. And if we then go ahead and try the transformer model, let's see if it makes a difference here in, so it does increase our frame rate slightly, right? So it does seem to help when you are CPU bound. And then if we switch this over to balanced, let's have a look. 
we, we might not see a difference in the frame rate um, further on because we're just becoming more and more CP bound. So once again, 180-ish frames per second, let's call it 180 frames per second. And then if we go to transformer model here, 180 stays 180. So if you're CPU bound in this specific scenario, maybe if you're like way too CPU bound, it's not going to make a difference anyway. And then if we try performance on the CNN model again, we are once again getting 175 to 180 ish frames per second and then if we go ahead and change it to transformer model that should more or less stay the same right so 180 maybe two or three four frames per second higher now let's go ahead and then just test frame generation here so we'll start off with the dlss set to quality on the cnn model and i'm going to enable frame generation and restart the game all right so dlss quality frame generation enabled 1440p and we're getting 340 frames per second yeah and then if we change this let's just have a look we are okay so now it seems like it impacted our performance a little bit more right so th this is what i saw earlier in my previous session before i started recording the video when you do use frame generation it seems like the the performance hit when you start using the new transformer model is slightly more than without frame generation but then again also if you are cpu bound we're not really seeing uh well the transformer model actually does help a little bit in increasing the frame rate a little bit in certain scenarios right i think uh, as i said i'm not going to be doing a an image quality comparison because I'm not good with that. I also only recorded 1440p and we would need a 4K recording to actually you know, highlight the differences, etc. So I'm going to leave that for the professionals. And on that note, I'm going to start preparing for my Final Fantasy VII a Rebirth video, which will drop a little bit later tonight. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.